So let's take a look at how to add another ad group in Google Ads. So first of all, you'll obviously want to pull up your account. I'm in the new layout, so if you want to switch between them for a period of time, I believe you'll be able to switch between the, the new design and the old design. So if yours looks different than mine, you can switch between the two. Uh, but when you're in your account, if you go over to campaigns on the left side, we have a campaign selected here. It's a Phoenix closet. This is for a closet remodeling company. And you can see that we've generated some leads here and, um, you know, halfway decent cost per conversion considering the value of a closet remodeling job, right? Uh, but if we then narrow down to the ad groups by just clicking ad groups here, then we'll be able to see the different ad groups within that campaign. And in a previous video, we were talking about how to structure ad groups properly, which I'll leave a link down below where you can check that out. But when we were looking at this campaign specifically, we were talking about how there's just two ad groups. There's a main ad group with basically all the keywords in it and then a dynamic ad group, which doesn't have any keywords. It just gets served dynamically by Google based on the information on the landing page and stuff like that, right? But we paused this campaign because it wasn't really broken out by topical ad groups. So typically you want to have a few keywords in each ad group and have everything be congruent along with ads in that ad group that talk about the same things as what keywords you're going after in that ad group, right? So let's say we wanted to split this out into more ad groups. It would be pretty simple. There, there's a couple of different ways we could do it. I personally like to just start with an existing ad group and duplicate it. So you can select the ad group from the side, click copy, and then you got to close this out here. So you can paste the ad group and then make changes like removing some different keywords, changing the ads, and keep doing that. So that's one kind of way. So you don't have to set everything up from scratch. But if you want, you can just when you're in the ad group section here, just click the plus button, which is going to open up this page where we can then begin adding a new ad group. Uh, so we can choose which type of ad group we want it to be. So we were just discussing how there's dynamic where Google kind of selects everything. We don't really want to use that one in this case, but we would give our ad group a name. So ad group three in this example, because it's the third ad group. But of course, we would want to name it something like uh, maybe custom closets. That was one term that we were seeing needed separating out. And then, you know, we would have whatever keywords we want and we can use different match types like Phoenix custom closets. And if you're not familiar with how match types work, I have another video that I'll link up showing you how match types work. But, um, you can type in whatever keywords you want, whether phrase match, exact match, broad match, add those in here and then click save and continue. And then of course you can set up your ads with your landing page URL, your paths, your headlines and descriptions and everything that you want in your ad. And then you should see your new ad group showing up right here. Of course you can make edits and changes to that ad group as you see fit. You can pause and enable, you can even remove it if you need to. Uh, but that's, you know, it's pretty basic, straightforward once you understand the structure of things and how ad groups work in general and how keywords work and, and all of that. But if anything you ha if there's anything you do have questions about, don't hesitate to reach out. You can just drop your questions in the comment section down below and I'll be sure to get back to them there. Look, if you're the type of person that just doesn't even want to deal with Google Ads anymore, <laughs> then you can always reach out to me. Uh, my company is Missoula SEO Geek. I'll leave a link to my website down below, but we do manage Google Ads for different companies and different industries, and you can come learn about what we do, what makes us unique. You can even read some of the testimonials from some businesses that we've taken from zero to over a million in revenue, like this one here. And really just see that, you know, this is the type of thing that's going to explode your business growth. So feel free to reach out. You can always give us a call or contact us through our website. 
and look forward to working with you.